Maybe the other thing we should talk about is being a great programmer doesn't necessarily make you a great employee. And when you're being assessed, you're not only being assessed on your technical skills. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I don't know what time I'll post this, but welcome to another video. It's been a while since I've made these kind of videos, the kind of sit downs, but I'll be damned if you think this channel is for vlogs. Not to share my vlogs, still enjoy making vlogs, but the main aim of this channel is to educate through my experience. So I decided to make this video on tips on how to, you know, climb the corporate ladder and try to, you know, move to better positions and try to upskill in the tech space as a software engineer or as a developer. Let me quickly reintroduce myself for some of y'all who does not know me. I am Gosnatis Beer. My name is literally the name of this channel and I am a software engineer and i have been for the past three years of which i have managed to get myself into intermediate position as a software engineer and i just want to share based off how far i've come and based off my experience because that's the main aim of this channel share my experiences and hopefully it helps somebody out there first of all you get yourself an internship or a graduate program well first of all congratulations it is very tough in this economy and in this market especially as a software developer so don't take it lightly you've worked you've worked hard to get wherever you are uh, i don't know if you had connections or anything like that but not really none of my concern not really my concern at this point but i just want to congratulate you if you managed to get yourself an internship or graduate program uh most of graduate programs usually extend to give you like a permanent contract after but it's based off performance so mostly if you're working on a private company everything is performance based so with that being said you need to consider everything that you do you need to understand your environment i think the first thing that i would raise to you is understanding your environment understand the company you work for understand the management understand what they are looking for as on on an employee level and on a developer level because you can be a great developer but if you're not a great employee then they won't see the need to be for you to be promoted or to move to the next position what do i exactly mean by that in some companies you might be might be a startup or something like that of which mostly they'll be like uh, results driven and they care mostly about what you can produce within this certain uh, time period so with that being said you will understand that you are in this company all they want is results they don't care how you get there how it happens you, they don't care about your story so the one thing that you need to focus on is understanding that you are in an environment that wants results they don't care if you can I don't know, create a Node.js um, a, a Node clone or you can create your own language or something of that sort. They just want results on the project that you're working on. So you need to start prioritizing that. You need to, whatever you work on, make an impact, make sure that your results are seen and you do that. Some companies, maybe they want someone who's technical or someone who solves complex problems. You, you know, on the framework level, you're not client facing. They want you to focus. They want someone who's more technical in that sense, like, um, and then that's where you should definitely be heading if you want to work for that company and you want to be promoted in that company. Some company wants you to be more visible, they want you to be more in meetings, they want you to mentor people, they want you to talk to other people, they want you to be more engaged, don't just be in a corner and all of that. So you need to realize the environment you're in, first of all. So great stuff. You, you've seen what kind of environment you're in. You understand what you need to do for you to be able to be promoted or you need to go to the next position because you understand your environment now now you need to be able to have goals and goals that aligns with your company of course which speaks to the first point mostly but at the same time you need to be able to have your goals measured or have your goals seen by management or the people who are responsible for that so you do a feature and it was needed very soon and everyone is happy about that and they're giving you compliments recommend that mention that on your next one-on-one -on -one or whatever conversations that you have on your manager and make sure that it reflects by the time that uh, your performance is being reviewed you are doing uh, maybe a project which has this much impact and everything went well the client is happy good remarks document that and make sure that it is seen so that when it comes to for promotion time and you're like I feel like I'm ready for a promotion based off this and this and this and there's actually evidence for that 
If you're a regular viewer, then you will know that most of my links in the descriptions are usually to Scrimba. And if you're asking yourself why, tell me out. So if you don't know what Scrimba is, it is a learn to code platform which actually combines the two ways that people usually use to learn, which is videos and also practicals. So they found a way to actually combine the two, meaning you can watch the course right there, pause and run your code, interact with it, and you have a browser there which you can see your changes, which is actually quite cool. They have different topics and all of that. If you want to be an AI engineer, they also have that. But they specifically reached out this time. They were like, we support full stack learning. Like, what do you mean by that? They have different courses now that are focused on the full stack development. So they have courses like uh, Intro to SQL that you can actually check out, and you can be able now to actually take on a journey of being a full stack developer so if you're interested in that there's links in the description go check it out and let me know about your experience there are free courses under the type of courses but there's a limit to it and you might have to upgrade to pro if you want to enjoy it fully so go check it out and let me know how you how you found it and cheers this is kind of a personal thing but i really believe in making things happen when I, what i mean by that is being results driven like you can't be always having explanation for everything like when you say you want to do something get it done there's a huge impact in that knowing that you are someone who's reliable and there comes a time you're a developer you might be thrown into something you don't know and all of that and it's a bit tricky doesn't mean you'll always be estimate everything on time but whatever you say make true on your word so if you give an estimate of this time make sure you deliver within that time don't make it a habit that you're always explaining 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 so being reliable and knowing that if we give john this feature and he said he's gonna get done with it in two days and three or three days we know worst case scenario could be a week or whatnot he's always making good you are a reliable developer if they can rely on you if push comes to shove they can call you up and you'll be there to actually do whatever that needs to be done so that on its own has its own impact so being able to produce whatever that you say and being a man of your word or woman of your word is a really good thing to have it's a really good trait to have and it will get you very far like that does make an impact and people see that if you say you're gonna get this thing done you get it done just get it done man like have time to play but know when it's time to push whatever that you have to push and make true of your word so the other thing that i have noticed is in an organization especially if you're in a junior position uh there comes a time where something new has to be done and best believe most people who are like at a senior level or who are more experienced they don't really want to be doing that if yourself you're a junior or even intermediate and that chance arises and you want to be seen or you want to be recognized you want to do something nice as well raise your hand raise your hand for all of those nice like all of those stuff that people are not willing to do especially if it aligns with what you want to do does not mean each and every time you need to be a slave to every new request that comes your your way you need to be able to if something needs to be done to be like hey i'm here i'll do it when someone is busy when all of them are running away that will get you your recognition that will get you closer to where you want to be you're gonna make that count because now everyone was running away you're the one who's doing it no one else is gonna be able to take off credit of your work you're gonna do it you're gonna be good don't be afraid to raise your hand and try something new no one is gonna hold against it just be like okay okay i've never done that but i would like to learn or actually try to move into that direction and actually see what i can do with whatever resources that i can get that will make an impact don't just shy away and stay in your corner that will probably bring you closer to more project managers and whoever that will be in your team which will give you recognition and when it comes to now promotion or your review of your performance that will definitely count as maybe the other thing we should talk about is being a great programmer doesn't necessarily make you a great employee and when you're being assessed you're not only being assessed on your technical skills and you need to be more of someone who is interactive and someone who is willing to show that they are learning to take on more responsibility than just being programming or i mean programming is only a part of your job so if you're just gonna make that your entire personality that might give you a bit of disadvantage it might give you an advantage maybe moving from your 
uh, internship or graduated to junior because you you are not really required to have so many responsibilities to have so many responsibilities but as you move in your career you move from junior to intermediate you might be required to take a bit of more responsibilities it might mean mentoring other people it might mean supervising other people reviewing code and doing all of that that requires you to actually now be someone who interacts and who can articulate themselves well you might be invited to sprint planning and you might need to have uh give estimates or advices on which approaches to take how long this will take and maybe actually leading a project which actually requires more than just technical skills it really needs the soft skills as well so if you are someone who's not willing to look into improving into that it might be a huge disadvantage so make sure that you are kind of a team player that is very real and you need to learn that and you need to interact more with other people and let me not ramble too much let me just put it in a summary for you basically you need to be able to take more initiative raise your hand for stuff do whatever that needs to be done that will make you to be more sane make sure your work is accounted for so that means document whatever that you achieve whatever that needs that you have accomplished in the past few days or in the past few months put it into a record when it comes to your performance review make sure you mention that and your manager is aware of all of those things and make sure that you are also someone who's willing to take on more than what your role is required to. Remember, you are not promoted because you are not ready. Remember, you are promoted because you are ready to take on the next position. So if you keep on doing the bare minimum for whatever your role is, that means that's where your actually capabilities stay. So if you take on a bit more, you show that you're actually ready for that. But don't misuse that and misuse uh, my words and actually get yourself into a toxic environment in, in which you take on all the responsibilities without no compensation. That's definitely not what I'm saying. With that said, I hope you found this insightful and I will see you on the next one. And I'm not sure what it is, but it might be a vlog. I was not shaming on vlogs. So I'll see you on the next one. Remember to subscribe and we're getting to 10k very soon.